And another barrier-breaking role model is Aisha Ash. She's made a career in ballet and is now raising the bar to make history off the stage. Elaine Quijano has the story. After 86 years, New York City's famed School of American Ballet is making history not on the stage, but in the classroom. Think about your shoulders and lift. When Aisha Ash becomes the school's first black female permanent faculty member. What's the difference you hope to make for your students? I feel that I have this hyper-awareness now of that dancer who's struggling and sort of see that sort of self-doubt kind of creeping in. As a teenager, she had those self-doubts in a school with a mostly white student population. When you look at performances, when you look at footage, when you see the images on the walls are everything but your own. Um, that is saying something to the dancers around. But she persevered, earning a spot with the New York City Ballet, one of only a few dancers of color. Jonathan Stafford, the school's new artistic director, says hearing Ash's painful experiences helped them face hard truths. It really lit a fire under us at the school and the company to, to really dig into the work and look at all of our policies and practices and unconscious bias and how we make decisions. 16-year-old Une Darbuz is a student at SAB. She says seeing someone who looks like her at the head of the class makes all the difference. I feel a motivation kind of a fire behind my eyes. I feel that she's an example of why I have to push myself harder. Ash acknowledges that change isn't perfect. We can't run away from the ugly, the uncomfortable. And I think that we're seeing that in society as a whole right now, is that we can no longer close our eyes. A historic step already making a difference. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, New York. An important first step. Elaine, thank you.